Hey, welcome back to another video. It's Adam with Tech Out Adam, and what I want to do in this video is just quickly show you how easy it is to create your own voice within Descript. Now, my number one reason for doing this is I recently got I got sick with just my voice in my lungs, where it was just phlegm, a basic cold, probably because I live in a dry climate and I probably should be running my humidifier and things like that, but. It was just enough to make my voice sound raspy. Like I'm totally wide awake. I don't necessarily feel sick. It's just one of those things where it's phlegm in the throat and a slight sore throat and it's like, okay, it changes the way your voice sounds, you know? But you don't really care to, even though I'm talking in this video, it's not like you care to want to record 30 minutes of audio. Let's say if you're gonna do an audiobook or let's say you like to make video that's B-roll focused where you're talking over the video clips and you know a lot of YouTubers like this, like James Shawnee, Jake Tran, a lot of people, upper echelon, a lot of people do this where they use their voice to make their content. But I was so impressed by other people's videos with Overdub, I said, wait a minute, I don't really care to show my voice in a lot of real estate videos I make. And this is actually a video I did for sales training for people that may be interested in sales and my take on sales, especially in real estate. And I said, you know, I want to record an audiobook. But then once I was going to start recording it, there's two major problems when you're doing an audiobook. Is one, as you can see in a script like this, let's say this was my audiobook and this is actually the overdub voice training script. Who has the motivation and who has the skill set to read this enthusiastically for 30 minutes straight without error? And think about it this way. Let's say I wanted to record this as my audiobook. I have to make sure it's said in like, like if I were to record this part, I want it to sound the same throughout the entire, the number one complaint I see on Audible is people say poor voice recording quality, or they say poor performance. And that's the thing. Not many people have the talent of actually being able to do an audiobook or voiceover content for a 30 minutes straight or even 10 minutes straight and it's sounding good the entire time and what if you don't always have a good microphone with you and all this so I kept thinking about all the scenarios and I said you know what this is where AI and things like 11 labs and overdub voice transcription and overdub voice training is phenomenal with how accurate it sounds so I'm going to give it a test try but like do you really think especially right now that I'm not feeling like it all the way I can go here in nature stages one of her greatest dramas every year three million caribou migrate across the arctic tundra the immensity of the herd can only be properly appreciated from the air some herds travel over two thousand miles a year in search of fresh pastures think about that i can't do that for 30 minutes straight that was a lot of work right then and there so <laughs> this is why i got intrigued by it i'm like that was only <laughs> the, the four sentences and i'm already tired I'm like, man, it just, it takes too much work. I give people who do voiceovers a lot of props to keep that enthusiasm. Um, but one thing, you can you can rap if you think about it. You can create rap songs and stuff and, and the music tracks even. But that has so many ideas running in my head. But to keep this video short, I uploaded a sales training video. It's about 10 minutes long and it looks like it fully uploaded. So the steps are you add recordings every speech. So it can be video, you just literally drag and drop it, or it can be audio, you drag and drop. But one thing is, if I play this, you'll hear how it sounds. In Telluride, a couple of years ago, that shifted everything for me. Now, if you feel the same way, if you con... So as you heard how it sounds, I was using a lavalier mic, but I think the lavalier mic sounds good enough because whatever content you upload, it's going to sound like that content. And even though Descript has these little effects and editing tools to make it sound like a studio microphone it does alter your voice a little bit so i would stick with audio that actually sounds good don't just use your macbook pro microphones it's going to sound muffled and that's how the uploaded recording will sound in your voice so you do that and then you submit your voice id so we're going to hit submit it only took like five minutes so it's saying that it has to be at least 10 minutes so what we'll go ahead and do is let's say that's all you had. What I'll do is I'm going to record actually what was in their training. 
for a few minutes and then I'll come back to this video. So as you can see, I'm going to make sure I select my actual JLab Go talk microphone and transcribe recording. My audio levels are coming through, so let's go ahead and do it. And I'm let's actually see if it alters the way my voice sounds all together. We may as well because this is the first time I'm testing it out. All right, let's go back to the script. Here in nature stages one of her greatest dramas. Every year, three million caribou migrate across the Arctic tundra. The immensity of the herd can only be properly appreciated from the air. Some herds travel over 2,000 miles a year in search of fresh pastures. This is the longest overland migration made by any animal. They're constantly on the move. Newborn calves have to be up and running the day they are born. But the vast herds do not travel alone. Wolves, packs of them, 8 to 10 strong, shadow the migration. And they are hungry. It's the newly born calves that they are after. Running directly at the herd is a ploy to generate panic. The herds break up, and now it's easier to target an individual. In the chaos, a calf is separated from its mother. The calf is young, but it can outrun the wolf if it only manages to keep its footing. All right, now let's go back to the audio training. And even if I just speak like this, it's still going to count. So we're going to hit stop. File added. And this is going to be really, really interesting to think about two separate microphones coming through how it's going to sound like let's just even play this watch let's see what it's like this course is for you but if you're too much in your mind and you think this sounds like foo-foo already then it's probably not for you and that's totally fine that's why i made this let's intro see, let's video see. so thank you for watching and if you decided to go into the course i'll see you on the next module all right, let's go back to the script. Here in nature stages one of her greatest. All right, let's see what the two different microphones sound like now. Teaching some principles he taught me, I'm going to implement into cells. I don't... So that's how the video sounds. And then let's go to my voice recording with this microphone. They're constantly on the move. Newborn calves have to be up and running the day they are born. But the vast herds do not travel alone. Whoa. So I'm wondering if that's going to affect it. So let's go ahead and try it. Let's submit training data. Ready to create your overdub, overdub voice, whoops. <laughs> let's go to the JLab microphone. So you have to record this. So let me see. And then it says, we'll email you when it's done. So we'll come back to that at a later time. Alrighty, so it's the next day. And I know there was like a random clip at it, but it took about 10 hours to be exact of my voice that I submitted here to actually uh, overdub. And if we hear it again, this is what it sounded like. I don't know why it was such a massive shift is because whenever I would hang out with him, was... And so, as I said earlier, one of my biggest concerns is, is this voice going to sound like my recording microphone? And I believe it's going to. So what I did is I submitted another voice on a better microphone recording as you hear here. Kind of like here. the movie The Matrix. The blue pill is constantly overwork, constantly feel stressed. And that sounded a lot better, especially if I'm going to do a lot of, if I may end up doing an audiobook or a lot of voiceover content with B-roll in the background. I, I want it to sound like that more so than my lavalier mic. So let's go ahead and start a new project for me to actually test this out. And uh, we'll just open up the basic prompt screen of Overdub uh, or <laughs> Descript. And let's go to test voice. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll go, whoops. Um, I don't know why it's being a little laggy. Uh, oh, I see. We have to actually hit write mode. <laughs> Make sure you do that. I'm still pretty new to Descript. So uh, we, oh my goodness, to test out this voice. All right, now let's go ahead and hit speaker. It's gonna be my voice. And let's even see how long it takes to 
actually overdub that when I exit out of writing mode. And I won't do any fancy edits because I want to see how fast. So overdub contains gibberish for words outside your thousand word vocabulary limit. And so I will upgrade, but let's just see how it sounds uh, even with one sentence. We're going to test out this voice. Let's see how well it does for Jabber Out Adam. <laughs> All right, so that's, that's freaking crazy. And so it does sound exactly like the recording, which is a trip. So this is why you gotta have multiple voices. Now, let's go ahead. We're going to test out oh, this whoops. voice. Let's see how um, well it does. I always forget that we gotta go here. Uh, Bose headphones. Let's see what it does. And then we'll exit out. And then let's wait for it to uh, load and then do its thing. It does it pretty quickly. So you can imagine that if you have, when I've been playing around with Descript, I, I use their stock voices and I've been able to translate and do B-roll videos with like 500 words of text and it would overdub it in like three minutes. It happens so fast. So let's see what this sounds like. I like to review Jibber whether it's Sony, Sennheiser, JLab, Bose, or any other kind of headphones. I like all things tech. That's pretty crazy, especially since there is not any, like, let me even see this. Let me go, let me actually add a period here and then go back because the grammar makes a huge difference. Like, it's able to discern your grammar to make sure it knows when to pause or when you're emphasizing things. So let me let me try that again. Sony, Sennheiser, JLab, Bose, or any other kind of headphones. Headphones. I like all things gibber. <laughs> kind of headphones. I like all things gibber. So when I added that period, it sounded more natural. So you can imagine you can easily do an audiobook with this. I mean, even when I switch the voice, you can probably use what they have with their stock voices. Uh, like you can hear. Life is like a camera. Just life is like a camera. Just focus on what's... So let's see if we did Ruth. And then usually you're able to do a bunch of different ones. Let's try Formal 3. And let's see what it ends up editing. But I will upgrade. Because I would like to have more than a thousand you know, words. So I'm going to upload probably an hour worth of my voice. Uh, to see what it ends up sounding like. So it already you saw that little glitch in the reload. Now it's going to read this in Ruth's voice. So let's let the audio download. And then let's play it again. We're going to test out this voice. Let's see how well it does for Tech Out Adam. I like to review headphones, whether it's Sony. <laughs> so let me see how to figure this out. Overdub, overdub. That way it can be in the new voice. And I know this isn't the most fancy edited video, but I just want to show you in real time how it actually works. So let's go ahead and play it Check now. Check out Adam. I like to review headphones, whether it's Sony, Sennheiser, JLab, Bose, or any other kind of headphones. I like all things tech. I mean, it's an artificial sounding voice for sure. Like in just the slight nuance of it being, I don't know who they use, but that's the thing that I love about it is now my voice, when this training sounded like the lavalier mic to the T. Some principles he taught me. I'm it sounded gonna... just like this. So if you think about it, the higher quality of the recording, the better it's going to be. So in your pocket and it's your job to do whatever it takes to get it. He was very negative in his mindset. So imagine when this training is done, which I'll do a second video on all this because I want to show you the type of projects that I want to make. But my voice sounded a little bit different in that recording, not just because it was a better microphone, uh, but it, now I'm having tech issues with that microphone. But also, uh, my voice is still a little phlegmy right now. So it's for me, it sounds a little stuffy. It, but that's the thing. It's like all you got to do is record a good audio that you had on your best day, if you will, or with the best audio recording equipment. And boom, you can forever use that voice to create content. 
And uh, so that's my quick analysis and testing of this. I absolutely will upgrade uh, because luckily it's not showing my full card information, but um, I would go to Pro and it's only $30 a month and you don't have that thousand word limit anymore. So I will do that and we'll come back in a second video and see how it does. So thank you for watching this. Uh, I hope uh, it was helpful.